Hi, Mom. I have a question for you. I get some arthritis in my hand. And, and I've heard of that turmeric supplementation helps with inflammation, and so I'm hoping that I could take something natural that would help with that. I want to help my mom out, so I'm going to address her question from two different angles. First, is there science to substantiate these turmeric claims? And second, what factors should be considered when deciding whether or not to take a dietary supplement? Let's science this. <laughs> Hey Nourishable, I'm Dr. Lara. Turmeric is a gnarly looking root that produces a bright orange spice. It is deliciously aromatic and it's been used for centuries in cuisines like curries and in traditional Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine. The primary bioactive component of turmeric is called curcumin. Curcumin can act as an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory agent. To understand how curcumin could alleviate arthritis pain, let's delve into the details of oxidative stress and inflammation. Our bodies are constantly running chemical reactions that involve transferring electrons. Sometimes these reactions will produce free radicals as byproducts, which are compounds that have an unpaired electron. The lone electron makes free radicals very unstable because electrons like to be in pairs. These rogue free radicals try to steal an electron from other molecules in the cell, causing a domino effect that damages DNA, cell membranes, and proteins. But our bodies are equipped to deal with free radicals through our innate antioxidant defenses. Antioxidants generously donate an electron to neutralize the free radical. However, if our body generates too many free radicals, then our antioxidant defenses become overwhelmed. This imbalance creates oxidative stress, leading to tissue damage. In response to the damage, our cells send out help, help signals to produce inflammation. And one sign of inflammation is pain. Inflammation is necessary in the short term to repair damage, but left unchecked, chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are implicated in many diseases, including my mom's arthritis. Studies using animal models and cells in a dish have shown that curcumin can attenuate both oxidative stress and inflammation. Curcumin can both donate electrons to free radicals and activate the body's own antioxidant defenses to more effectively squelch free radicals. Curcumin suppresses inflammation by inhibiting cells from releasing those chemical help, help signals that initiate inflammatory cascades. Overall, clinical trials using turmeric supplementation for patients with moderate arthritis showed more pain relief and enhanced joint function compared to placebo and equivalent efficacy to common pain drugs like ibuprofen. On average, these studies used about one gram of curcumin per day. These results are promising but far from conclusive because of the few number of human studies, the small sample sizes, and the short time frame of less than three months. A few other important considerations about turmeric supplementation. Curcumin only makes up about 3% of turmeric spice. Most of these human trials use a turmeric extract that concentrated the curcumin because it wouldn't be feasible to consume that much turmeric spice. Curcumin has very low bioavailability because we don't absorb much of it when we eat it and our bodies rapidly break it down. However, if you take curcumin along with piperine, a compound found in black pepper, then this will slow down how quickly your body breaks down the curcumin so it will remain active in your body for longer. Some supplements will include piperine or you can eat the supplement along with some black pepper. Since curcumin is fat soluble, you'll be able to absorb more of it if you take your supplement at the same time as you eat some fat. In conclusion, there is credible science to show that curcumin from turmeric extracts has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant activities. Human studies show that this may help alleviate arthritis pain, but more studies with more human subjects are needed before it can be conclusively recommended. What factors should my mom, or anyone considering taking a dietary supplement, consider before popping those pills? First, always talk to your doctor before you start taking a supplement. Some supplements may interact with medications or with underlying disease conditions. Also, while it may be safe to consume these ingredients in whole foods, supplements tend to have much higher levels. High supplemental doses of turmeric can act as a blood thinner, so it could interact with the drug Coumadin and should be avoided if you're pregnant or having surgery. Mega doses of curcumin can also soak up iron, which could lead to potential issues with anemia. 
Natural doesn't necessarily mean safe. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, regulates dietary supplements, but way less strictly than drugs. Dietary supplements don't need to prove efficacious prior to going to market. Most ingredients in dietary supplements are designated as generally recognized as safe, or grass, due to their historical use as a food additive. Grass status is determined by a lack of adverse health consequences as opposed to a proof of safety and the FDA doesn't monitor the actual contents of dietary supplements. A 2015 study investigating common herbal supplements from stores like GNC and Walmart showed that 79% had no detectable amount of the labeled ingredient, and that 35% contained compounds not listed in the ingredients. There are some independent organizations that will test dietary supplements to confirm that they are what they say they are. If you do choose to take a dietary supplement, look for a certification logo, such as the National Science Foundation Certification Program. Mom, should you take a turmeric supplement to help with arthritis pain? There's some evidence to suggest that it can help, but the evidence isn't very strong. More research is needed. The supplement industry is loosely regulated, making it difficult to know what you're taking and whether or not it's safe. In my opinion, supplements should not be taken like drugs unless they're regulated like drugs. Always talk to your doctor first. And that's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. If you like what you're learning, please share, subscribe, and ring the bell for more video alerts.